Hello, it's Constructive Plus from Mindshare Impossible, and I'm bringing you a tutorial that um, many people I've seen on YouTube haven't actually posted, so I was thinking I'd make one. Um, for you people who have the Technic Pack and cannot figure out how to make a working refinery, then this is what I'm going to be showing you today. And while I'm making the refinery, I'll, it will also teach you how to make a pump that pumps out oil. As you can see, it's over here. And also, it will teach you how to make a power factory, which powers the refinery and which is here. Okay, so that is the finished product. I'll show you how it works after the video is finished. And so let's get started. Just go into my new world. Thank you. Might take a while to load since I am kind of running quite a lot of programs. And also for you guys who are looking for a good server, we're um just about to post our nearly finished server, quite finished, about ninety nine percent. Okay, well here we go. And uh I've got a nice flat line so I can build show you guys how to build. And I just made this oil patch by using world edit, which I have do have the technique pack and I've got single player commands as you can see. And um so let's get into it. Now if you don't really want to world edit an oil patch, you can always find one. I think on the mini map oh I think yeah, on the mini map there is actually I think yeah, I think you guys can see this. There's a little oil patch there. And it's just naturally generated. Okay. So let's get into it. So firstly you would want to put your pump. I usually put my pump oh, it's very hard there. I usually put my pump right in the middle of the oil patch because it divides the amount of oil you get. Just got to get something to build, probably some wood. Okay, um, then after that you just put these two, I don't know, any building block you want, um, right next to the, your pump. Then you get I'd prefer, okay, firstly, put a steam engine on this side, and then put a combustion engine on this side. Then, get some cobblestone waterproof pipe, or stone waterproof pipe, doesn't matter which one you use. Lead the pipe up from the pump, connect it to the steam one, and connect it to the combustion one. Then, lead it off and lead it down. Probably across a bit. Make sure you've got enough space to build everything else. Okay. And after you've done that, uh, to power the steam engine you need coal. So I'm just going to quickly grab a 64 set of coal. Okay. And you'll also need um, a lever on each side so you can power them yeah you usually power with redstone it doesn't matter if you power it with a lever a redstone torch a, a button but the button won't last long of course because you need the redstone current to keep going but you can also put a redstone repeater at the back and lead a redstone trail and power it from a lever like i've done in my one my already finished one um Okay, so after you've done that and put some s coal inside your steam engine, you can now start making your power factory. And to do that, just put combustion engines, just like that. Okay, and then put one in the middle. Now the thing is that it's turned sideways. Now to fix that, you have to get a wrench, which is here. Just get the wrench, 
right click until it is facing upwards but of course it won't face upwards because there is nothing to face upwards to. So just connect your waterproof pipes into your combustion engine then get wooden conductive pipe lead your wooden conductive pipe up and on top of the combustion engine and lead them on top of all the combustion engines like that like so then you can get your wrench and fix the ones like that and right click until it's facing upwards okay then get stone conductive pipe and just connect it like so uh, lead it off a bit of space there and yep so now you have your power factory and your pump now the pump when you start it up will only start with a steam engine because as you can see there is no oil or lava or fuel or water inside your combustion engine so it will not go but when it starts pumping it will pump oil into your combustion engine because it's already connected then once there's enough power in that combustion engine and it's starting to move then you can replace the steam engine with a combustion engine then it will pump in and into these combustion engines which will provide the power it's not what it's meant to day okay then after that you lead it off then this is the part where you get a refinery it just looks like this it's a little device and you have to plug your stone conductive pipe from the top and get the uh, cobblestone waterproof pipe lead it from the back along and make sure it doesn't touch your uh, power plant one lead it out lead it down and connect it up like so so as you can see you have a extra pipe leading off into your refinery like that and yep so now we will need something to store the fuel as it comes out of the refinery. So lead your cobblestone pipe out of the refinery and up. And instead of a refinery, get a tank. Connect the tank up. Up like so. Like that. You don't, it doesn't matter how high you make it, but you can either connect it from the side or the bottom, doesn't matter which. Now, when the refinery is finished, it will stop pumping and the red will s stop like that. And, and it won't start automatically pumping the fuel into this tank. You'll need a pump to do it. Now. You can either use a stone, I mean, sorry, a steam, a uh, combustion or a redstone one, which is this one here. Redstone ones don't need any um, thing to plug into, and they're just fine to run with the, to power it. But of course, see how that is not connecting with the pipe? It is because you need a see you need a wooden waterproof pipe and you just destroy this one and connect it with the wooden waterproof pipe destroy that one put it back and now it's facing up then it doesn't need anything inside it to get it to go so that's what I like about it also when it's just about to blow up which means the head turns red that means it's just about to blow up it doesn't really do much damage like the combustions or the steams and the just to make sure you don't blow up anything make sure just before your combustion engine turns red or orange or something like that just turn it off for for it to cool down 
because it does overheat. Now, if you want, as I'm going to do, I'm just going to get some redstone. And I'm going to connect it up to some repeaters. Like that, as I told you, you can power it. Okay. And just lead it off and attach it to a lever. Now, unfortunately, if you put a redstone there, then it will connect. So I'm just going to put it here. But the strange thing is that it connects to the pipe. So I'm just going to get it across a bit. that and then get the tank which I can also just destroy that and lead it up from there as like that mm, just put a bit more okay and like that it's kind of simple and I'm just going to lead my redstone trail Okay, like so, and I don't really like the levers, but I'll keep it there anyway because it makes it simple. Now, you could just use a, just a normal lever to power them all, but it's just easier to use one lever. Okay, like that. So, now, we can start pumping and let's get on with it now so firstly you start the stone engine by just clicking the animation will start it will go forward now the pump will slowly but surely let's see yeah the nozzle is here and might take a while to start up with just gotta wait a bit Usually sometimes there's a glitch and the pump doesn't work, so I'll just replace it with something else. Let's put another pump there, just wait for them under it. Okay, yep, and here comes the nozzle. Should start pumping. Oh, and there you go. Okay, and here comes the oil. And as you can see, the um, the pump is already filled up the combustion engine. So now we can start the combustion engine and replace the steam engine with a combustion. Now it will really take out a lot of fuel so you'll need to refill it quite often so as you can see it is filling it up quite literally though so you just got to keep pumping until you've got a good source of oil and yeah, it will keep going until it becomes full. So as you can see, the refinery is just starting to fill up now. 